Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dows, and in today's video I'm going to explain how to find slope uh, of a line or slope between two points using rise over run. Now the equation for rise over run is this guy right here, m equals rise over run. And remember that m uh, is the letter in math that means uh, is slope. So m is slope here, so uh, slope equals rise over run. Uh, rise is the change uh, in the y uh, direction. Uh, between two points and the run is the change of the x uh, positions of the two points. Uh, so and what I mean by that is is if I looking between R and S here uh, the change between R and S is going to be uh, the change in the y direction. Again this the y axis is going up and down and then uh, from left to right is the x axis so from this location over uh, that's the change of the x values between the coordinates of, of point R and S here. Uh, and also, if you have a hard time remembering what rise and run means, uh, a word that has rise in it is sunrise, and the sun rises, uh, it goes up and down, uh, versus running. Uh, whenever you see people run, you don't see them run into the sky. Uh, you generally see people running left to right relative to you. Uh, and so uh, just something to kind of talk about here. So again, rise is the change of the y values uh, between two points, and the run is the change of the x values. Uh, between two points. Uh, so let, let's go over a problem. Uh, it says, example one, find the slope of points J and K using rise over run. Uh, and if you look here, I've got four steps that you can, uh, if you follow, will help you solve uh, the slope between uh, these two points, J and K, uh, hopefully every single time, assuming you get your math right every time. So uh, step one says, write down the rise over run formula. And so I'm just going to copy what I have here. M equals rise over run. Uh, now keep in mind there is an alternative way of finding slope uh, using uh, the slope formula and I've got a video on this one if you want to watch it uh, but there is an alternative way of finding slope using slope formula so if you don't like this video or this method you can always look at my video over slope formula uh, but this one is specifically telling me to do rise over run so I'm going to solve this using rise over run. Uh, step 2 says find the, the vertical distance between uh, the points. Uh, keep in mind up is positive and down is negative uh, and you always want to go from left to right whenever you're, you're looking at uh, two points uh, and then we're going to put that number on the top for, for the rise. Uh, and so if we look here, again, I'm always going from left to right whenever I'm talking about slope. From left to right, J comes first, K comes second. So from J to K, I'm going up. Let me change colors here. So I'm going to go up. So I go up one, two, and three in this case. So I went up three, so the rise is going to be a positive three. Uh, now if I look at, uh, so we did the first two steps. If I look at the next one here, find the horizontal distance between the points. And again, we're going from left to right here. Uh, so the, uh, the horizontal distance between these two points is going to end up going in for the bottom number for run. So if I look here, I go, uh, so this is up three. This is going to be over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And so the rise is three, but the run here is thirteen. Uh, and so I solve that guy here. And then step four says to simplify the fraction if necessary. Uh, I can't simplify this, so that's going to be my answer. So the slope between points J and K uh, is going to be uh, 3 over 13. I go up 3 over 13 to get from J to K. Now there's, there's a couple things I need to mention here. Uh, first of all, uh, when we look at uh, slope, the rise is the only thing that can be positive or negative. Uh, runs always positive, but rise can be positive or negative. Uh, depending on if you're going up and down. Now again, going from left to right on this problem here, J came first, and I had to go up to get to K, so that's a positive value. Let's say I had another point down here that was uh, J, K, let's say L. If I were to go from J to L, that's going down from left to right, so that would have been a negative number. Um, but run is always positive, so the only thing that can be negative is the top number here. Uh, let's do a couple more problems here and then we'll move on from and we'll call it quits on this video. So find the slope of the following points. Um, I'm going to do uh, m equals rise over run here. I don't have the steps here because I didn't want to take up too much space. Uh, those steps took up a lot of space. Uh, but the slope of j, uh, sorry, of, of lk or segment lk or line lk uh, is m equals just rise over run. From l to k, 
Uh, keep in mind we're always going from left to right. L comes first, K comes second. So the rise is up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want up 10, so that's a positive 10 for the rise. Uh, and then the run, going from left to right, is 2 from here. And so we have 10 over 2, uh, and I can reduce this down to just 5 over 1. Uh, in other words, I can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, and I get back to k. But again, I can simplify this even further. Uh, 5 over 1 becomes just 5. And so the slope of lk is 5. And so voila, we're done there. Uh, I got another problem, so let me erase what we have here. Uh, it says uh, find the slope of jn. So m equals, and this is going to be rise over run. So if I look from j to n, j's here, n is, for, uh, n is, is up here. Um, well, shoot. There's a problem here. Uh, it says from J to N, this is misleading. We always need to go from left to right whenever we're doing slope. So in reality, we need to find the slope of NJ. It doesn't matter the order here, but you always want to go from left to right. So if I'm going from left to right, N is above, J is below. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I went down 5 for the rise, but the run is over 1, 2. And so I have a negative 5 over 2. And I can't simplify that anymore, so this is the slope between uh, of Jn or of Nj, depending on how you look at it. But it's still going down from left to right, so that's a negative slope. Uh, let's do uh, another problem here. Uh, we have a slope of Np. Uh, so if I look from N to P, N is up here, P is all the way down here. Uh, from left to right, it doesn't matter, they're both equal to each other from left to right, so I'm just going to start from N and go down to P. I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I went down 17, so the rise is down 17, uh, and then or negative 17, and the run, there's no run here. Again, they're straight up and down from each other, so I get a 0 here. If I started at P and then went up to N, I could have done that. I would have had 17 over 0. That doesn't look like a 17 to me, though. 17 over 0. It's not going to matter. We're going to get the same answer here. You can't take a number and divide it by 0. It's, it's, it's what's called undefined in math. If you plugged in a negative 17 or, or a positive 17 and divided them by 0, you're going to get an error message in a calculator. Uh, and so the answer on this one here uh, is going to be undefined. And I'm erasing this just because I need to save some space here. Uh, but ultimately, the answer is undefined. So in reality, you don't really need to do any math here. Um, if you know two points are directly below and above each other, uh, the slope's going to be undefined. Uh, and then uh, moving on to the next problem, it says uh, find the slope from O to L. So from O to L, uh, we have, um, well, it's going down from left to right, so I'm erasing that. So if I look from left to right here, again, we're going left to right, I'm going down, so my slope's going to be negative right off the bat. It's down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the rise is a negative 8, and the run is over 1, 2, 3. And so I have a, a, a rise of negative 3, but the run is, 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 sorry, the rise is a negative 8, the run is 3 here. And again, from left to right here, this is going down, so we have a negative slope, so this looks right to me. Uh, I can't reduce this down anymore, so that is actually the slope between the two points O and L. Uh, and then the last problem we're going to do here uh, is uh, find the slope from M to L. So M is going to be uh, rise over run. So M, uh, the rise between M and L, uh, I'm not going up or down at all. There's actually no rise. That's a 0. And then the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if I plug this into my calculator, you're going to get 0. Or remember, anything um, 0 divided by any number is always going to get you 0. So this is a slope of 0. Uh, now, when it comes to these two right here, uh, undefined and 0, I have a separate video. Uh, it, it's it's going to be uh, titled uh, uh, Slope uh, 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 0 versus Undefined Slope. And you can type that in, and you can find this video here. Um, so I have a, a separate video here uh, if you want to watch it. Uh, but anyways, uh, beyond that, I hope this video helps explain the concept between rise over run. Uh, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.